guys, this is just a little um, heads up. Uh, I apologize that I apologize for any um, audio mess up, any audio uh, things that you come across because this is a really weird headset. I also apologize if the video freezes. I am using um, OBS to record this because I once again fraps quit working. Um, and it's not the best because Flight Simulator, the actual window is bigger than from OBS itself. So I apologize if anything pops up, if anything um, obscures the view. I tried my best. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Flying Fridays, where I play Microsoft Flight Simulator for you guys. As you can see, we are using the Beechcraft Baron, um, the 58 G1000 series. Um, it's probably one of my favorite airplanes because um, it's a propeller plane. It goes relatively fast, and it has a GPS inside. I don't know if you can see it, but okay, a little too far, but you can kind of see the turbines. That was cool. Um, but in there, there's a little GPS, and um, I just think it's an all-around good plane. We're going to be flying from Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport to um, Miami International Airport. Um, I apologize that there is no face cam. I tried to do it, but uh, it didn't work. Um, the video I just uploaded will pretty much explain why I just moved, and I have to configure the face cam, and I'm probably going to get a green screen. But... Um, this is the uh, main starting window. Um, let me see if I can open up the flight plan. No, actually, I'm not going to open up the flight planner because it'll just lag. But anyway, this is the um, this is the uh, airplane we'll be flying. Um, if you want me to fly a different airplane, um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll open the window and I'll let you guys. Um, I'll uh, open up the window and if you see a plane you want me to fly, definitely tell me that in the comment section down below. So let me do that real quick. Um, so this is the window right here. Um, let me see if I can get that centered for you guys so you can see what I see. I pretty much see this. Let me see if I can... There we go. Anyway, this is pretty much what I see. Um, so if you want me to uh, use any of these airplanes, please tell me in the comment section down below. Um, I have a bunch of um, different airplanes, especially this one right here. This one is actually... Um, they say mild air because I downloaded a big pack. If you want me to be a uh, freaking ambulance, you want me to be the uh, power boat, the hovercraft, please tell me. Um, and if you want me to go to a specific airport, be sure to put that in the description too. If you want me to f do a flight, um, I like to keep my flights um, rather short than long because they will literally take the amount of time so for example if I want to fly from here to Detroit and it's three hours it'll literally take three hours for me to appear for me to fly from here to Detroit but if you want me to use any of these airplanes um, go ahead pause the video tell me what you want me to use and yes I can land on water there are actual airports that allow you to do that so put that in the comment section down below and yeah so anyway, let's get into the simulator, and I'll see you when we're in. So here I am in game. The simulator is paused. Um, and we are going to go ahead and unpause the simulator here. Let me just um, do something here for a second. Okay, so um, we're here in the simulator. Um, I apologize for the loud noise, but this is what, this is what it looks like. Um, I tried to lower the scenery so you guys could see it better, um, and the FPS is going to go completely crazy because of this, but um, this is basically the scenery. Uh, there's the control tower. We are currently at, let me see if I can open, uh, let me see if I can control the frames, hold on. Um, okay, so I'm back. Um, I apologize also for the screen. It, it's Nothing's really cut off except the little flights thing. The only thing that's really cut off is over there. I apologize. I'm going to try to put it in the middle. So, um, let's get back into the game. So, this is the airplane we're flying. This is the Beechcraft um, one K G1000 series. Um, as you can see, it's a twin propeller airplane. Um, I, I apologize again for the, for the FPS drops. Um, I really don't understand why it's doing that. It, it just doesn't like airplanes, I guess. Anyway, this is the um, airplane itself. It's a rather nice airplane. 
Um, as you can see, you can see the propellers on screen because the thing's frozen. I don't really know what it's doing. But, um, there it goes. Anyway, this is basically the airplane um, we're going to be flying. So back in the uh, cockpit view, um, you can see down here we have our map of the route we're going to be flying. We have, um, let's see if I can open it. We have the map down here of the route I'm going to be flying. We have the, uh, if you don't have that, I guess, uh, I'm trying to find the, okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let me see, four, no, five, no. Uh, it's one of these, there it is. This is the autopilot, which we're going to be using quite a bit. Um, this is actually probably one of the most important instruments on in the game. So we're going to be using this quite a bit. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and we are going to... Okay, maybe that'll do something. But anyway, um, this is the uh, thing here. Uh, I don't really know why it's using a lot of CPU. There's really nothing to be using. I, I honestly don't get it. Okay, I apologize. Um, let me see if I can turn down the settings here. Hold on. Okay, so I put it on the lowest textures it could possibly go. The very low minimum. It's on 20 FPS. I don't really know why it's using that much CPU. There's nothing else even turned on on the computer. It's literally this. But anyway, um, you can hear the ATC. Uh, this is the ATC window. Um, we're actually on Palm Beach Approach probably because it's probably the uh, international airport if you want to um, fly over. We're going to go ahead and I guess we're going to tune to the ground here. So let me, um, I guess we're going to have to minimize this. Um, yeah, okay. I don't really understand why it's giving me FPS. So we're just going to record it. And um, so here we go. We're going to contact to executive ground. And we're going to tell them, because um, I'm facing the east. Oh, wait, I actually have to get, yeah, I'm facing the east. Might as well just depart to the east. As you can see, they told me to hold short of runway 8 and stay on runway 8. It's exactly what I did. Um, we're going to configure this in just a second. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, tune to the tower. We're not going to contact them yet because I want to uh, set up the autopilot here. We're going to turn on the autopilot. We're going to turn on altitude. Let's get to an altitude of about 3,500 feet. Um, I'm going to turn on nav. But we have to... Uh, sh okay, yeah, I have to do something so I can s actually switch it to GPS mode. I don't know. I guess... I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and see. Let me see if I can open the, uh, or I'll just look there. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and let's tell the tower we're going to take off. Okay, so we're cleared for takeoff. So we're going to go ahead and take off. Um, we're going to be flying over the ocean, so that's cool. Um, now, a note to self, you should never do this if you're on a Boeing or a, a big airplane like a 737 or a um, A380 because these generally uh, will make the airplane stall because it likes to go up at a 90 degree angle when it first goes. So I don't recommend doing it. So anyway, let's go ahead and take off here. And rip FPS. So my throttle is on full right now. So we're taking off. 
Which I probably shouldn't have cut nav on yet. Let me cut that off. And we're going to take off. And the autopilot's just going to take over. So as you can see, we're going straight up at like a like a good 30, 20 degree angle. And it's going to bring us down. And the autopilot has taken over. So we're going to turn on the nav. And it should automatically direct us. If I if not... There it goes. Um, it's going to automatically direct us on that pink line over here, which is the flight path. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And here we go. We're now airborne. Um, uh, some things I have to monitor are the airspeed, which are over here. Uh, our vertical airspeed. Our, um, uh, our height compared to where we are. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. That's a little bit too high. Although we do have time to land, I'm going to put that down to 3,000. So that way, when it actually gets to 3,000, it doesn't go crazy. So anyway, we're going, and there's the ocean. I think it looks relatively cool, because there's Fort Lauderdale Beach over there, and I like how it uses Google Earth to uh, do the ground terrain there. Anyway, we're going to go to 3,000 feet, and it's going to go on this flight path exactly. So um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, probably mute the mic until we get to the air uh till we get to the approach and i'll see you then nobody seems worth it while the feeling sophisticated the view is so restrained the past is nearing closer and closer i feel let's just cut the bullshit the time is
expands infinitely But my world is crumbling Let it collapse into the abyss In the midst of summer it won't exist This emptiness It's just a blank slate Waiting for a pain to interfere It's quite complex what I know Um, so we have actually reached our uh, final descent here into Miami International. So one of the things I'm going to do is probably set this down to 2,500 feet. That way we can start a descent. Not too fast though. I guess you know what, we'll, we'll go right over this building. So we'll go to 2,300 feet. Um, we're going to decrease our speed here. This gravity's taking over us. And as you can see the white line over here. That's exactly where we're going to go. We're going to go down and into the runway. Let me tell them. Miami Tower, um, regardless of what runway he told me to go on, I'm going to go on the one I chose. He probably wants me to go on the this one right here, one of those, but I'm going to go this one and some air resistance here a little bit. Um, we are falling quite a bit. I just hope we don't, we're not going to stall because it's a propeller plane, but uh, in a second here we're going to start turning and make our way down into the airport which is right there. Um, we are actually at appropriate altitude because the lights are green. Um, but we don't want to go on those runways. We're going to go on a much larger runway because if I mess this one up, like I messed up the uh, first video that you guys didn't see because it didn't work, but if I mess this one up, like the, if I mess this landing up like I did the other ones, it won't look as bad. Um, I just hope I don't go off the runway. Um, but we're at a good speed right now. Um, as, soon as, it as soon as it has us turning right, we'll uh, decrease our altitude to 20,000 feet. As soon as it has its turn. But as you can see, we're over the Atlantic Ocean, the intercoastals over there. It looks really cool. I like what they did with it. Um, so, anyway, we're going to go ahead and decrease to 2,000 feet as soon as it has its turn.
any minute now we are going to start turning I have the nav on so it should automatically do it I just want to get a good distance away from the airport so I decided to do that and yeah So yeah, we're over the ocean. Looks really cool. Um, and we are turning. So I'm going to bring this down to 2,000 feet. Um, we don't want landing brakes yet because it will increase drag and we don't need a drag. Okay, and we're actually lining up back with the other one. So... It's going to be hard because we have to do a nice sharp turn here and head straight that way. That's going to be a little difficult, I think, for us to get ourselves aligned. We're also going to cut the autopilot off to get to um, when we get to the uh, airport because the autopilot's going to make us do go in circles unless we put it on heading, and I don't want to use the heading because we didn't go that far, and it's really obnoxious because it just beeps at you until you land. So anyway, there's an island that's probably more than likely... No, that's just, um, actually, that's, okay, that's, yeah, I don't know where that is. That's interesting, though. Anyway, here we go. Uh, we're going to do a nice sharp turn, and we're heading straight into the runway. Um, actually, I think we'll make it, because I did give myself a lot of leniency here. So we're going to head down even more, probably to 1,800 feet. Um, our vertical speed, or sorry, our airspeed's relatively good. Um, and there's the runway right in front of us. But of course, this poor airplane does the sharpest, this the uh, sharpest of turns, as you can see. Which I don't blame it. I m it messed up on the flight plan, and I gave it time to correct itself. So. And it's telling me that I'm clear to land. Okay, um, and it's going to land me with the runway. We're going to go ahead and decrease our altitude here, our deer speed here. I'm going to bring this down to zero. Okay, so it's going to pretty much bring us down. I want that nav on though so it can align us really well and it's we're already aligned with the runway this is probably going to be a relatively smooth landing if I do this correctly so we're going to cut the autopilot off I think so the autopilot is off and we are in full control of the airplane I'm going to go give this a nice turn here not, not a very sharp turn just a nice little turn here. We're going to go back this way. Decrease our altitude here. And landing gear. Landing gear is down. We have full green light, so we're on a good route. Uh, we're actually on route, so technically we're doing really well. So we're actually right in to the runway. This is going to be a good landing if I could stick this correctly. We put down the uh, flaps so we can decrease our vertical speed here. And we're going to pull up. i got to glide it. Okay, 7,600 feet. 600 feet. 500. Okay, no, I don't want 500 feet. I want zero. Okay. We're actually at the perfect altitude right now. Okay, we're actually right on the runway. Beautiful. And 200 feet. So we're going to pull full flaps down. And we're going to go ahead and land this baby. Right on the runway. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to apply the brakes. And our vertical speed is going to go down. And we have landed on the runway. And 76 or 660, 50, 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a flight from... Okay. Well, I missed the taxiway. I gotta find one. I guess we'll go over to this one. And we're gonna go get off the runway. And we're gonna go ahead and park on the taxiway. I guess we'll taxi... You no, know, we'll just park here and end the video. So here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have landed. Um, welcome to uh, Miami International Airport. The current local time is 12.07 p.m. Um, partly cloudy skies, no chance of rain today. Um, it is currently, uh, I don't have a temperature right now for this uh, airport, but I hope you've enjoyed the, your flight on Darkster Airlines, um, founded by the Dark Legion. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to join the Dark Legion today, and I will see you all on the next video. Peace.